Hey, what's happening? You already know who this is. This is your dude, GKA, the prodigal son from the fine organization that I call Group Fire Group Social Fellowship Incorporated on What's Happening TV. And I got these young, beautiful young ladies right here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Here you go. Okay, okay. My name's Tay. My name's Lala. And I'm Naya. So that's it. Y'all gotta give. And we are the Power Puff Girls! Oh, we Channel 22? Yeah. Cartoon Network? Okay, cool, cool. So my question is, what made y'all pick this wonderful institution that we call the fine Texas Southern University? Oh, yes, ma'am. Go ahead, go ahead. So, you know, I've been through a lot of mental issues, so it was really just a prayer for God, you know what I'm saying? Just a prayer. That's all. And, you know, with praying and stuff, it, he really led me to be here because, you know, I really wasn't going to make it. So I'm thankful and I'm blessed to be here and made it alive and continue out my journey and career at TSU. Amen. Period. Okay. Give that baby a snap. Give that baby a snap. Come on. My answer is low-key the same, ain't going to lie. And I want to break a generational curse because my mom went here and she ended up, uh, she ended up, like, Having to drop out because she was pregnant with my brother, and then my cousin went here. He graduated. Okay, you're good. And then the brother that she, my brother that she gave birth to, he came here and he dropped out too. So you know, I, I'm trying to be different. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be different, and I just, I just love TSU. I'm not gonna lie, every everything about it. I just wanted to come to an HBCU so I can be around my culture, be around my people, because I love the black people. Yes. Okay, Amen. okay, okay, okay. See, see, hold on, hold on. See, see, oh, you had something? I was not done yet, but if you got something to say, go ahead. Well, since we haven't really told where we're from, I'm from Canton, Ohio, but I grew up in Atlanta, and yeah. Pass the mic. Okay, I'm from Waco, Texas. Oh, Waco. I'm from Dallas, Texas, D-Town, Triple D, all that. Boogie. Okay, look here. <laughs> Look here, my question is, because somebody brought up the word culture, mm -hmm. I think it was you, mm -hmm. limelight, I'm going to call you limelight. Here we go. So what about this Texas Southern University culture that you that you all love so much? Go ahead, Naya. First and foremost, being black, okay? Oh. Let's just start there. And yeah, I'm going to just say that because it is what it is. Y'all already know. Just the way that black people can come together as one, no matter what shade, no matter what y'all going through, no matter where you came from, coming together as one and just mm -hmm. coming to school and getting our degree and chasing after better things for. Amen. Yes. Yes. You know that's yes, what it's Lord. about. Mm -hmm. Are we at church today? Honestly, we can take it there. TSU is like one of the underdogs. It's not like one of the bigger HBCUs, but it definitely matters as much as any other HBCU matter also, you know? It just, everything about it, the energy, the vibes, where it's at, the people, everything. And they got everything you need. They got all the, um, y'all need to go to the PAB building to get checked. Get tested. It's nothing Free. wrong with it. It's nothing Free. wrong with it, I promise you. Free, Better safe than sorry. They, I'm, okay, let's just, yeah, you know. let's, let's turn yeah. back to yeah. 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 Hey, hey, people gotta know that. Go get checked. Go get checked, but. But my y'all yes y'all bringing up some good topics because if, if I was hearing it correctly, you all had stated that at this institution we coming together and helping each other. So how come this culture cannot make it into the black community outside of college? Mm. Ooh, that's a good that's question. Amazing. Ooh. You go ahead. She gonna go first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Me personally, I just feel like outside of the you know HBCU culture, black folks are are literally on a leash upon white supremacy. And you know, for example, no shade, but Donald Trump, he got us on a, on a leash for real, for real, as black folks, and it's embarrassing to ourselves. Like y'all are y'all are he's playing in our face. Like wake up, y'all. Like I'm I'm so confused. And yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes. Sprinkle that. Honestly, because of because of what people have to say, like when people downplay it just because you're not in college or when people are uneducated, you don't even have to go to college to be educated. I tell people that all the time. You can you can go on Google and learn so much stuff that you never know or never have even heard about just by going to go look it up. That Trump stuff, too, I'm not going to lie. Just because he, quote unquote, giving y'all money does not mean anything y'all gotta y'all gotta look into project 2025 for real 
Trump, can I say something? Go ahead. Trump, if people really understand, Trump ain't really give you that money. It's it's you know, it, you know, it, you know. And I'm going uh, and I'm also gonna say this: Trump not just playing in our face, but the Amer American government is also playing in our face. Only reason why they are playing in our face because check this out: just, just, j j check this out. Just like President Trump was elected, it was certain judges that was elected, it was certain propositions that got approved or uh, got denied. It's so much on that ballot that had to be voted on that we are, I ain't going to say all un uneducated on it, but we just need more education on voting about this, uh, about the volat voting uh, system going on. You get what I'm saying? But I don't want to hold y'all up. But one more thing before we get gone. How, how impactful it is for somebody to check their mental health? I, I can answer this one because I'm a psychology major, so mental health is everything for me. I'm not gonna lie, because I've been through a lot of stuff. That that's one of the reasons why I'm here, because of mental health. Because at one point in time, I didn't even want to go to school no more. That was literally I was about 15 when I tried to make that decision. I'm glad I stuck with it, and I'm here. Mental health is important because honestly, it's like one of the biggest things in life. Like when you wake up in the morning, are you going to be in a good mood or a bad mood? How is that going to impact your day? Like, are you going to go out the day sad or like, you know, and people go through stuff every day. You can think the happiest person and they can be going through the wor most worst things. I know because I was one of those people. So it's important to check on your mental health because tomorrow could be anybody last day. You never know. You just want those moments to be the best moments if, this, if it's the last moments. Yeah. Mental health, I feel that mental health is very important because a lot of the times it is overlooked as just something that's so small. But it's not. It's very important and it should be taken as serious as it is. And I feel like people don't really don't really think about how other people might feel when they say stuff. So I think that's why I think everybody should just be kind to one another and just always have be in a position where you can think you can look at somebody and, and think about you being in their shoes and walking around in them and then go forward before you make a decision to hurt somebody's feelings or say something you shouldn't say and type 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 i just feel like first of all being in a black household mental health is never checked on at all coming from a mother who deals with like bipolar depression and stuff and and, and is on maze and like within myself i went through mental issues and stuff like like i said if it wasn't for that prayer and God, I would not be here. Like, I was literally on the bus from a gang crying, like, I don't want to be here. I don't want to make it. Like, I'm not going to make it at all. But, Lord behold, he had different plans for me. So, I'm thankful for that. And I just feel like, as black folks, we need to take that shit. Mm, sorry. But we definitely need to take that, you know, stuff seriously and check up on our people. Seek help. And just because you feel like. Everybody can go to therapy. Yes. And I feel like people really don't be trying to go because they be like, oh, well, my problems ain't going to be heard because they're going to be overlooked. You never know that. Seek help. Get your help. And so be it. Period. And pray every day. Every day. No matter what you're going through, if you don't, even if you don't feel like it's going to work or God not going to listen to you, pray. I promise you. Pray. I'm a walking miracle. God is good. All the time.